Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Witcher 3. We're gonna do Dijkstra's side quest in this episode. Uh, we won't be able to finish it because uh, in order to finish up this particular side quest, this one right here, it's called a deadly plot. Uh, it will require us to advance further into the story, but we can definitely start it and that is uh, exactly what I intend to do right now. So let's go. He's gonna be here in the Pass of Flora and um, we'll see what he has to say. Oh yeah, this place. Where's Madame Serenity? She's supposed to be standing here. Hmm. Okay, I mean we could like chat up some of these uh, workers here. Greetings to the honorable gentleman. Yeah. Welcome. Make yourself at home. What have you come for? We're prepared to fulfill your every whim. I'm sure the camera shifting and angles there was done totally on purpose. Uh, let's talk a little bit. The Passiflora certainly deserves its reputation. We do all to please our patrons and make sure to turn the rabble away. Oh, that's it? I was hoping for a bit more of an engaged conversation. Oh well, take care. Nice meeting you. We don't need to hire those services right now. Plus, 40 crowns is kind of pricey, honestly. I can just go down to the Crippled Cates and get one for, I think, 20. <laughs> Not that we're really going to be exploring uh, this aspect of The Witcher 3 in this playthrough, but, um, you know, it's uh, it's always wise to hunt for better prices, right? Right? Yes, I know I'm right. Um, where is this Dijkstra guy? He's supposed to be... Okay, he's on the, on the lower floor. Let's go down here. I'm not really sure why I came upstairs. Uh, we need to go into the other room here. We can talk to someone else. Narcissa. Welcome to the Passiflora. I think this is the one that the madam recommended. How does the temple guard treat you? Can't help wondering how the temple guard treats you. With interest. They come by rather often. Far as I remember, Church of the Eternal Fire doesn't exactly condone these practices. <laughs> the church is the church, and men are men. Not much consistency there. Now, tell me what you want. I want to leave. Goodbye. Take care. Alright. Let's do this. So in here and... Oh, there's the madam. Geralt, greetings. Come now, darling. Don't be shy. Yeah, sorry, but I'm here to... Speak softly. I know very well why you're here. They wait. This way, please. Okay, so she is certainly in on it. This way. Upstairs. Marquis Serenity. Sorry. Wow, it's like very dark in here. Which your Geralt? Up you go. Boss has been waiting. And got some bandit bodyguards. Very suspect, this place. Geralt, you're here. Good. Might have chosen a more secluded spot to plot an assassination. It's on everyone's mind. Many would like to do it, so there's nothing to fear. Besides, this venue's got a tradition in this domain. Might even consider it fabled. Falka planned her revolt here. By extension, King Vrydank's murder, too. Comparing yourself to Falka? Far as I can recall, no one in Redania's annals has a bloodier reputation. Her rebellion changed the course of history. That's what we have in common. In terms of blood, we aim only to shed Radovids. I'm pleased you're willing to play a part. Must admit, I wasn't certain you'd show. I was just curious on what kind of plan this guy has cooked up. Um, uh, yeah, still don't know if I'm going to help. Actually, I do know if I'm going to help, so let's just say Radovid's got to die. Thought about what you said. The Triss and Yen would never be safe as long as Radovid was alive. You better believe it. Well, I'm pleased we've arrived at an understanding. To the matter at hand, I believe you know my associate. Roach, you here? Oh. Retired intelligence operatives. We have a club. Our favorite Temerian patriot. Defended a king once. Ready to assassinate another now? Not proud of it, yet. 
I considered all the options and found none better. Radovid's proven many times he only ever forwards his own interests. When Kedwin asked for help, he invaded. When I begged him to support Vizima's defense, he showed me the door. The war nears its end. We've come to a decisive phase. We must act quickly. I've no illusions. Only a dead Radovid means a free Temeria. The problem with assassinating a king is that if the nation still stands after that, I mean, obviously this, this doesn't apply to Temeria because once Boltes died, um, Temeria basically just crumbled down to almost nothing. Uh, but like, usually what happens is when you kill a, a nation's king and if that king is kind of like, um, really just acting out of bad uh, morals or he's heading in a wrong direction, more often than not, I'd say an equally bad ruler comes along to take his place. Unless you already have another king in mind, in this case, they don't, you know. Radovid is really the only person who is uh, fit or who is um, able to rule Redania at this, play at this t uh, point in time. He doesn't have any offsprings, and there is no one really to take up the throne. I mean, I suppose... Uh, actually, we can we'll get to that. Um, who About who's going to rule Redania after we finish this entire side quest. But for now, that's just an interesting thing to keep in mind. How's that work? Seems to me Radovid is Tamaria's ally. Only as long as my guerrillas do what pleases him. Support his troops. Once he wins the war, he won't acknowledge the previous borders nor wish to restore them. He dreams of a northern empire. As long as he lives, Temeria will never be free. But we didn't bring you here to bore you with politics. Radovid's a threat to Triss and Yennefer. Remember that. That ought to interest you most. So, yeah, what, uh, what Roach is basically saying is Radovid is kind of like a more demented, yet equally ambitious, uh, version of Emperor Amir. He wants this like entire northern realms to be part of his own empire, kind of like how uh, Amir has made everything basically south of the Yaruga his own empire. I mean, yes, there are certain regions and countries, if you want to call them, that are kind of acting autonom autonomously, but uh, Amir uh, has like 60% of the continent already, which is well, if you include uh, certain places like Velen and um, uh, Vizima, for example, if you include those places where he just conquered, uh, he would have like 70-80% of the continent already. And Radovid, I guess, just wants the remaining 20% and maybe they'll fight it out in the future. Um, that's what Roach is kind of like suggesting there, but apparently we don't want that to happen. Alright, what do you want from me? One of our co-conspirators ventured out to meet an informer. He's not returned, yet the plan's success hinges on what he's learned. We've got to find him. And you're the best tracker around. Tracker, huh? Really? Anything else you can tell me? Where this associate was last seen, for instance? He's traveling as a journeyman, itinerant cobbler. That's his cover. He was first to venture across the Pontar, most probably did so via the Redanian checkpoint. With a man there who should know more, calls himself Gregor. Gregor, all right. You got informers in Redania, really. Let a Redanian soldier in on your plan to murder Redania's king? Ah, uh, you see, there are even some Redanians who cannot abide Radovid's policies. And when simple soldiers notice something's not quite right, well, then it's time to act. Hmm, fair enough. Let's do it. I'll find your associate. Fine. I'll talk to Gregor. Thank you. And try not to draw too much attention. If you can, remember, the future hinges on the success of this mission. The future of Temeria. The future of the North. I know. I'll try not to fuck it up. See ya. We're counting on you, Geralt. Hmm, can't make any promises. No one apart from Madame Serenity in your lack you Off the street, I mean. Deeds, no Madam, Nerves well, getting the better of you. I'm not nervous, just cautious. A trait you ought to nurture as well. I know, and I am. We're out about the streets for a time to lose any tales. I've worked in intelligence as long as you have. I need no lessons in spycraft. 
Ooh, look at that. Two intelligence powerhouses just sitting next to each other having a friendly chat. The Roach is much more combat oriented and Dijkstra is much better, you know. I mean, we've already... Okay, I can't really say that. Uh, we already saw in the last episode that Dijkstra knows his way around uh, an axe and he can certainly handle himself in combat. So, uh, he doesn't have the, the exact figure for it, I guess you can say. But um, the dude can fight, really. And uh, based on what we know about him, he's also this like master spy. In fact, uh, I don't think anyone in the known like y Witcher universe is, um, has been more successful in the art of spycraft than, uh, than Dijkstra has. Maybe with the possible exception of that one uh, Nilfgaardian spy. Um, Vatir de Rideau. Yeah, that dude is... We don't really ever see him, but uh, based on the letters that we've read written by him, the dude is the dude is pretty good. Okay, so let's go. We're going to meet up with this Redanian contact called called Gregor, and we'll see what happens from there. Great, let's take this fast travel place, and we'll be off. This is the one. It's actually one of my... I, I don't know if it makes any sense to have any favorite fast travel location places but or, or favorite signposts, but this is one of my favorite uh, signposts in this game. Bridge named after the hero of Novigrad who saved the city from a horrible famine 300 years ago by sacrificing half his fortune to import food from Nazaire. After this, he was declared a saint, something even the jurors of the Church of the Eternal Fire were unable to change. And that's why this place is called St. Gregory's Bridge. And yeah, that's, uh, that's a cool place. By the way, we've unlocked 96 signposts here in Novograd and Velen. I don't really know how many there are in total. I don't think we've uh, uncovered all of them because uh, there are some that are just like hidden off in the, I don't know, who knows where, right? And it's just, um, you really have to go out of your way in order to find uh, those signposts. So maybe, perhaps there are close to 100 or maybe even over 100. Hell, maybe we've uncovered all of them for all I know, but... Um, right now, I don't really want to look it up, but definitely uh, have most of them. And if there are some others that we haven't discovered, well, that's just too bad. So um, I came here to the Dead Man's Tree because I noticed that there is a uh, unfinished monster den over here, and I think I remember this one. Um, there were like some necros or something inside, and then uh, there was a treasure chest that we weren't able to loot back then and I just said maybe we'll come back here later and we'll, we will be able to loot it. Um, this is all just a consequence of having the Enhanced Edition mod equipped. Uh, the thing is these these kind of monster dens, um, their completion depends on whether or not you looted the main treasure chest in, in, in the place. But the Enhanced Edition mod, what it does is it randomly removes loot from certain containers. So um, when certain loot gets removed, and if, if the uh, chest containing the loot that you're supposed to find to complete the monster then gets removed, then you won't be able to complete the entire area. So yeah, so this for example, you see that was glowing up until the moment I approach it, and then the mod just says, nope, we're removing the items inside. At least that's how I think it works. And when that happens, I won't be able to finish the um, uh, this place of interest. And I think the same thing just happened again, so I guess we're just abandoning abandoning this. Um, a very similar, a very similar example of this is uh, with that other quest that we have called Coastal Rex or something. Um, I don't know how many of you guys remember or watched that episode, but like over here there was a over here there's a side quest um, that revol revolves around finding certain containers and looting them. And um, when we were doing it. I was only able to loot two of them, and the other two chests con chest just contained nothing because they were taken away by the uh, by the mod. Which means uh, that quest, along with this monster den, I won't be able to finish. But um, hey, that's just how it goes. Got some dogs over here. Unfortunately, they're not wolves. If they were wolves, I would fight them because I would like to loot some uh, wolf livers. They are a nice source of quiverth. Um, I don't believe dogs drop them. I could be wrong, but... Uh, don't really want to find out right now. 
Master Witcher, there's an elven burial ground in the caverns near about mid cops and a heap of monsters roaming about. I think we've already taken care of that mid cops place. And look at this! Oh my god! Ah! All of these peasants just trying to get it, get through this location. What the heck is going on here? Hey guys, let me through. Fuck. Nice. I got my rid of passage. Okay, oh, look at that. Speaking of fast travel places, this is the one that uh, we haven't discovered yet. Border post, okay. Or whatever it was, border, border post, whatever it was called. Uh, so yeah, that makes 97. It's kind of hard to believe, actually, that we've discovered 97 signposts just in this region alone. Oh my goodness, that's, that's, that's a lot of places. <laughs> but then again, we've been playing for a very long time. Okay, here he is, Gregor. Looking for Gregor. You found him? Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. Dijkstra sent me. Been expecting someone. Let's take a walk. Nice job decorating your guard post. By orders of our gracious and merciful ruler, the good king. <laughs> what was their crime? One on the right, a Pella from a village nearby, gave some bloke the wrong advice. Bloke's mates informed on him. Neighbor held a grudge against the one on the left, accused him of witchcraft. Just humans at each other's throats. That's not Radovid's fault. Hmm. Who do you think set down the laws that mean folk hung for such offenses? Yeah, unfortunately an accusation is all that's needed for punishment to be dealt out. I mean, uh, unfortunately, in these times and in these lands, you are guilty until proven innocent, which is also a thing in uh, other cultures in this world. I mean, in our kind of American-Canadian cultures, um, okay, I don't want to get into that, but like in certain countries, um, yeah, once you're accused of something, it's basically like you are already the victim. You know, you're already guilty of the crime that you may or may not have committed, and that really sucks. I mean, um, I, like he just said there, the dude was accused of witchcraft. It doesn't even matter whether or not he did practice it, but all that matters is that there's an accusation, there are people to back it up, and bam, the dude gets hanged. Like, that's just terrible. Seem to have lost all respect for the king. Why serve him? What am I to do? I was born a Redanian. I won't desert. Besides, I enlisted when Vizimir was still on the throne. Now that was a good king, wise and just. Radovid's something else. He's got war on the brain. And I don't want Redania to look anything like that. Fair enough. Let's get down to business then. Let's talk. Must know why I'm here. Take it, it's about our cobbler friend. Yeah, he came through here on his way out. Didn't come back though. Patrol went out yesterday. Reported an abandoned car to ways off the road. Aimed to go out there, see if it's his. Couldn't get away. Thanks. Good enough to start with. Farewell. Hold on. You got a pass? Won't get back through without one. Yeah, I got one. Alright. Good luck. Thanks. See ya. I suppose even at this point in the game it's possible to uh, have gotten here without having a pass. Which is really hard to like even think about. I suppose... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how we could have gotten to this point without having a pass to uh, across the Pontar. Because I'm pretty sure... Um, actually, we can just walk there. I'm pretty sure... The Bloody Baron is supposed to give you one no matter what at the end of his mission. I could be wrong though. Okay, um, but then again, he could be talking about an, an entirely different pass. Uh, like the, the one Dijkstra gave us last time. Um, that one is uh, a pass to leave Novograd, I believe, because of all the, uh, the witch hunters and stuff. And uh, the other pass is the one to cross the Pontar, which you can get from multiple different locations throughout the game. Alright, so we're looking for the Cobbler, which is just a fancy word for Shoemaker. Hmm. Cart doesn't look damaged. Strange. 
Need to look around. Might find something. Hmm. Look at that. Fancy. Oh. What? What the? <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, we got some wolves here. In fact, let's call our own wolf here, and teach these guys a lesson. Because our our wolf is so much stronger than these wild ones. Oh. See? No problem. Oh yeah. Awesome. And I'm just looking for wolf livers, really. I'm not really looking for any food anymore. Um, livers? Can I please have your internal organs? Thank you. <laughs> you okay, Lydia? You okay? Yeah, okay. She's okay. Signs of a scuffle. Somebody got knocked out. Dragged off. Hmm. Wonder where its wearer is. Huh, <laughs> there's a shoe. Shoemaker indeed. A shoe. Something tells me I'm on the right trail. Huh. <laughs> this reminds me of the time Wonder where its wearer is. Uh when a we shoe. were Something tells me I'm on the right trail. When we were uh following Kira through the forest and she just like left behind certain articles of clothing. Okay. Trail of shoes. Huh. Doesn't roll off the tongue quite as well as trail of bread breadcrumbs. Although, trail of breadcrumbs doesn't exactly roll off the tongue either. Um, hey, it's a troll. Greetings. Away go with you go. You did pick me. I can see that. Just wondering how those shoes is wound up here. Yes, you did growth. Like the mushroom. <laughs> mushroom. I'm actually impressed that this troll knows what a witcher is. That means it's come across witchers before. And uh, either the witcher decided not to... Not to kill it, which, uh, which is fair enough, because it is within the Witcher's code to not kill anything sentient and not, uh, and doesn't pose an immediate danger to other people. Uh, or the troll just ate up the Witcher, which is also a possibility, because uh, not all Witchers are proficient in their, in their arts of uh, Witcher craft, if you will, uh, as Geralt is. So Geralt is among the top percentage of those people, <laughs> of those Witchers. Shoes don't sprout from the ground. You see who left them behind here? Mm. Mm. Speak no rogue. Oh, I'm gonna get Og and Pog. Og and Pog? Those your friends? Findering of great Og Pog. Human finder on big suited cart. Suited big like so. Mm hmm. What did they do to this human? Ogpog man's cover to take. They're over. Do you eat him? Nah, no. Body man's, stringy man's, blah. Oggy make man's suited make. For Ogpog and Rog suited make. So humans are bony and stringy. Got it. You even need shoes? Choose it on whom it is. Choose it once Og, Pog, and Rog. Big Lord's trollers be. Like whom it is. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Goodbye, dear troll. So long. I won't have troll to kill you this time. Nearby. But look at this thing, though. It looks I so fierce. Shooting it. it. And to be honest, like, I'm kind of inclined to kill this troll because, um, I don't know. It's just been so long since we fought one, and uh, they're not really that difficult. Uh, but they do drop some interesting stuff, like troll pelts. Those guys are good crafting materials. Alright, so we got a cave over here, but let's see what's inside this chest. Nothing? Okay. Alright, uh, nothing. Nothing. 
Okay, here we go. More trolls. When what hog hit make, humans is all time guy. So don't bloody hit make. Yell at them. That's good enough. Walk up to the bear your teeth, furl your brow, and say, Fuck off, you miserable cunt. Understand? <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, move to some exercises. Repeat after me. You thrice fucked all. Blow, buggered, and blowing. Take turn. Hop. Uh, 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 uh. <sighs> All right, Pog. Maybe you can give it a shot. <sighs> Guess we should start with something simpler. Give me a minute. <laughs> right, got it. We'll start easy. Fucking cut. Repeat that. Fuck. Fuck. Fucking. Sight no! Fucking cunt! Look at me, you're a moron. Ugh, no morani. Ugh, talafinder. Ugh, fingeringer. And you, cobble ringer. Shoesies make no talking. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Alright. Let's see what these people are up to. Better to teach trolls how to cuss. Geralt, my my, been bloody years. This whole relax, Og. This bugger's an old friend of mine. Bugger friend, I'll go. A wheeze in soup throw. I'd make for an awfully veiny morsel. Right, true that. Just look at the plowed bastard. Naught but skin and bones. That is kind of true. Well, General Trolls, I time I traveled on. You, uh, practice what I taught you. Give you a fucking exam next time I come through. Tell her no go. Tell her sit. Sit us down. Tell her suck cock shoes is big. <laughs> suck cock. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, I need this man, man. He's coming with I me. I can see you've made friends. But Tyler needs to come with me. Blood nowhere Tyler go. Tyler shoes his mix. But I need him. Tyler's here stay. You shoes his dot. Ugg shoes his dot not. Rug got not. Pug got not. Tyler shoes his mix. Tyler go. You know, can't really argue with that logic. Um... We can either decide to kill these trolls, which I said I really wanted to do, but I think we're going to go with the Witcher-friendly option, and uh, we're just going to try to fool these trolls instead. Now let's all stay calm. Taller will be back. He just needs to come with me. We'll uh, get some leather for your shoes. Listen to Geralt. He's telling the plowing truth. Look at your feet. They're fucking mammoth. Need a damn bale of leather to make shoes for them. Understand? Me and Geralt will get some cocksucking leather. Then I'll come back and make your blasted shoes for you. Shoes is pock for? And rug for? Two pairs for each of you gnarled pricks. Mmm, a go, but back come must. Knew you buggers were good mates. Sit tight, be back in a bit. Got to admit, you have a way with trolls. Ever thought of having children? Children aren't trolls, and vice versa. Besides, butchers are sterile. Nah, you've not changed a bit. Still tart as rotting rhubarb. <laughs> All right, great. So Taller is not going to come back there. Uh, we are off.
Come on, my old friend. You following up properly? Oh, actually, wait a minute. This monster then? Can we not finish it unless we kill the trolls? Huh, I never paid attention to this one. Probably not, but maybe there's like some loot inside that we can find. And you know what, Toller? You just sit tight. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna explore this cave a little bit to see if there's anything anything to find in here. I probably should have taken the option to kill the trolls. Um, it really makes no big difference in uh, in any kind of long or short runs. So yeah, it would have been the better choice for us. But um, oh well, too late. We can't really do anything about it now. Yeah, even if you attack these guys, they won't uh, they won't respond or anything. Mm, yeah, so there are a couple of treasure chests in this cave, but none of them are lootable, which means I suppose we are not able to finish up this monster den either. Oh well, that's going to be kind of like a trend in this game, I, I feel like. Um, I don't know how many monster dens we've already explored, but these ones, depending on if we have good or bad luck with the loot, we might just not be able to finish them. Well, we still have like a good chunk of the game to go, so um, we will have to just see in the future. Mm -hmm. You're gonna walk faster, taller. Um, been a while since we saw each other. That's true. It's been a while. Fill me in. Nilfgaard fucking dismantled the Temerian Secret Service in one night. I barely escaped with me life. Proceeded to drown my sorrows till my liver screamed bloody murder. What do you do now? Grassroots work. I hang about the area, watching, listening, asking questions, and recruiting new agents. Mm-hmm. How are things? Life treating you all right? Eh, uh, bit like a potato beetle. I keep quiet, stay out of trouble, and live on fucking potatoes. Potato beetle? <laughs> Can't say I've ever heard of those things, but okay. Farewell. Yeah, I do. Most of the fucking time, thanks. This guy needs to clean up his language, but hey, I'm not complaining. Ah, uh, yeah, so now we're just gonna have to wait for him to slowly make his way to wherever he needs to go, and then I can talk to him. Hmm, let's speed up the process, shall we? Thanks again, Geralt. I'll take it from here. And I'll be sure to tell Roach and Deekstra how you buggered Og and his mates sideways. As I see it, they'll be so impressed they'll shit themselves. I don't know about that, but yeah. Um, so what are you going to do now? So what'll you do now? What do you mean? Head back to Novigrad. Deekstra, Roach and I have got a master plan to set in motion. I'll ask again. Details. Forgive me, mate, I'm plowing calm. See, were it just up to me, I'd spill it loud and proud. You're trustworthy like no one else I know. But I'm not on my own. So, blooming unilateral decisions are out of the question. Trap stays shut, I'm afraid. Right, gotcha. Okay, so about this shoemaking thing. Uh, so yes, Toller did, definitely didn't used to be a cobbler. He used to be um, a spy. In fact, his uh, Gwent card in this game reflects that. He is a spy in this game. So how did you uh, come to be a cobbler? Tell me, you were a fence in Vizima. How'd you become a cobbler? Ah, a fence, okay. It's the least suspicious profession. The fence thing, shark cover. Pissed too many folk off. I didn't need the attention. It's all about being an innkeep. You meet a lot of folk, you know, tossers mostly, but willing to talk about all sorts of things. Problem is, you're tied down like a mutt on a chain. One in the same yard all the time. Whereas a cobbler travels everywhere. Better believe it. <laughs> Even cobbled together this fancy rolling stall. I saw that. And Lovely. it is fancy. Bloody bullseye. I've made a small fortune out of it since the war started. Those pricks in uniform are always marching. Know what happens when their cocksucking boots disintegrate? Their feet bleed. Blister up. Not a soldier out there wouldn't sell his mother for a comfy pair of combat boots. Okay, so I'll see you back in Novograd then. So long, Toller. And good luck. 
Oh, I can bloody use it. Radovid's one crafty oar with a clap. But we'll figure a way round that twat. Soon the old bloody North will be blathering about how he got fucked. Careful it's not also blathering about three assassins drawn and quartered. <laughs> Fear not, Geralt. We know what we're doing. Farewell. Three might just become four at this point. Alright, so that's the deadly plot completed. And oh look at that, we get a new quest for playing Taller. Um, playing Gwent with Taller. I did say that uh, this deadly plot cannot be finished right now. Um, I guess that was a lie. It can be finished. It's just this quest chain can't be finished right now. Yeah, the entire like assassinating uh, Radovid thing can't be finished. Can we just play with him right here? Mm -hmm. Yes, let's do it. Did I hear right? Where it is you like to play cards? I like to play, period. Dice, cards, chess. I unwind playing games. You asking because you got fuck all to talk about? Or are you in the mood for a round? Kind of a combination of both, but yeah, let's play. Alright, let's play. Just remember, only interested in good cards. Don't want any trash. Ooh, Geralt. Talking smack. Alright, um, yeah, let's just keep on playing the Squiretel. I'm kind of enjoying this. In fact, um, do we have the Nilfgaardian leaders? Um, <laughs> we do have the really good Nilfgaardian leader. The uh, the relentless version of Amir of our Emirates is so powerful. Probably the most powerful leader in the game, but I think we'll just keep on playing Squiretel for now. Um, it's nice to change it up once in a while. Let's see. Ooh, this hand is actually really, really good. I got my spy. Uh, okay, it's not that good. I got both uh, veterans where uh, I need to get rid of one of them. Okay, so I suppose I'll just start by playing this veteran. It's five points lost, but whatever. Because, oh, look at that. Taller's also playing Square Tail. Which leader is he using? Um, okay, double strength of ranged combat. All right, that's fine. Okay, let's see what he's gonna do about that. He passes, wow. That's not fun at all. Uh, taller, I thought he was gonna, like, you know, put up a fight in the first round. Okay, well, seeing that Square Tail doesn't really have a whole bunch of spies, I'm just gonna throw down my decoys and get some points on the board. Hmm, who is that? Who is that person here? Yaven, oh, interesting. Yaven. I don't think we have him yet. It's actually not too bad. Agile and uh, ability to boost everything on the roll by one. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Eh, let's go ahead and play the old gear for some carryover. Man, this strategy has really gotten old, but... Uh, <laughs> Honestly, the only reason I don't like edit these uh, Gwent sequences out is because um, I feel like they just they're just good time fillers, <laughs> you know. Each game only lasts maybe five, maximum of ten minutes, depending on how how hard I think and how well I do. Um, but still, they uh, they're they're interesting still, right? I, I think maybe most of you guys probably don't watch most of these games. But um, once in a while, something very interesting happens, and uh, it's fun. Oh, look at that. The guy has Geralt. Look at that. Is that the first time we saw the Geralt card in this game? <laughs> cool. 13 strength. I believe in Vanilla Gwent, uh, the guy's only like... Um, no, I think the guy's 15 strength, but he doesn't have an ability. In our mod, he has uh, the Scorch Close Combat. Yeah. Uh, well, if that's the case, that gives me a use for Ida, actually. And bring back the Vesemir, although he's probably not going to do much. Just one point by himself in the melee row, and oh my god. He's got a Sangram too? Uh, that's a lot of points. Oh, okay, maybe not that much. Oh, right, right, it bonds with the other one. Whew. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Yennefer is just going to scorch all of that, and... Can probably just win this round. Let's see. 
Ooh, nice. Okay, so I need to do 21 points. This one... Yeah, this is more than 21 points. Sorry, Taller. Maybe next time. Even though I know there won't be a next time. A little less roaring cut. How long it took me to assemble that plowing deck? Nope. Hey, know any other players who are good? And what's more, have good cards? Been hearing a lot of late about some prick named Lambert. Supposed to have an evil fucking deck. You might know him, actually. He's a witcher. Yeah, I, I definitely know Lambert, in fact. I've already beaten Lambert. Um, that was the infamous... Oh look, we got Geralt, the Gwent card. Awesome. That was the infamous uh, round of Gwent where uh, I tried to uninstall my mod and it just like messed my game up. Uh, well, I'm glad I got that sorted out. And let's... Um, Let's just see what else we can do. So at this point, I think if we go back to Novograd and we talk to Dijkstra again, um, I don't know if he will give us any conversation, honestly. So we can we can give it a try, I suppose. I don't uh, I don't want to start like an, a whole new segment of this game, um, like 41 minutes into one of these episodes. So for the last couple of minutes here, we might just walk around, you know, kill some enemies, kill some monsters. And we'll just see what happens from there. Oh, look at that! We got some bandits. Oh, that is that is definitely not the right sign. <laughs> this is the right sign, and I totally messed that up. I wanted to use puppet. Oh well, too bad. It's not gonna happen. All right, that's that taken care of. Tamarian special forces insignia. I don't think those actually do anything, but um, I believe I've kept all of the ones that <laughs> all of the ones that I've found throughout this game. Just think it's it's kind of fun keeping those things. Okay, so here is Dead Man's Tree, and you know what, sh what we can do for the rest of this episode. Um, normally, I just do this off screen, but because we do have some time. To just like do random nonsense in this episode, uh, let's just go back to White Orchard, and we're gonna give Tamira another visit. It's been a while since we've been back to her. Uh, where was she again? All oh, right, here. So I'm gonna set a marker there. Geralt and Yennefer would be united if something even more important happened. In okay, so that's Dandelion's Geralt summary for um, way back when we first left Bazima. So yeah, these summaries, they are based on the region that you're in. So for example, if you quit the game in White Orchard over Zima, you get that one. If you quit the game in Skellige, you'll get the one where um, Geralt first uh, shipwrecked off of his boat. If you quit in Velen, you'll find the one that the Bloody Baron gave you, like Ceres in Novograd. Um, if you quit in Novograd, you'll get the one where uh, Dandelion says he has been saved. Um, that one we actually haven't seen yet, and uh, in the next episode, I'll probably just... Um, Show that on screen at the beginning of the episode, just so just so that we have an idea what's going on. Uh, I'm gonna loot these moly arrows because you know quivers. In fact, I should have been looting these for a while now, because I'm always just like, really short on these materials. And yeah, so at the beginning of the game it was like vermilion, and then it was rubido, I think, and now we're just missing quivers. Uh, oh no, it's not. It wasn't rubido. It was uh, rebus. Yeah. Alright, any more moly arrows around here? Ah, yes. Good. Quite a lot of it, too. Alright, Tamira. Hello. Yes? Been a while. Got any herbs you're willing to sell? I'm sure I can find something. Alright, first off, let's see if she's selling anything cool. Um, I'll take these alkahests off your hand. And I guess I'll take these uh, sulfurs off your hand, too. Mmm, I would like to purchase these mandrakes. Uh, yeah, they're not that bad. Let's buy these mandrakes. And he all, she also sells bison grass, but I believe every single merchant sells uh, bison grass. I'll take them anyway. So, she sells a couple of bomb casings, which I think I will purchase. And also saltpeters, because I think we're going to craft some bombs right now. Those northern winds, like... Grape shot does a lot of damage, and Dancing Stars, um, they set things on fire, fine. But Northern Winds, oh man, they do damage and they chill, and then it makes it really easy to freeze opponents just by using Ard, 
or even like rhyme oil or uh, what's the other thing? Frostbolt. We haven't crafted any of those yet, but uh, we will get to that. Let's go, and go ahead and craft a couple of bombs. I, I want some northern winds here, so... Um, wow, I have a lot of interesting ingredients. I got... So, you see how all of these items are like... So, okay, let's see. We can use high quality powder. We can use rich source of um, pure vitriol. We got rich source of pure vermilion. Uh, rich source of quality quiberth, pure hydrogenum, and quality ether. What does it take to make superior bombs or superior potions even? Because I know there is a, a stage be beyond enhanced. Do I have to use like pure everything in order to get uh, superior versions? Because all I can see here is um, we can just we can only make um, enhanced version at the highest stage. And I don't think it's necessary to use like all of these really quality ingredients just to make an enhanced bomb. So uh, we're going to use some cheap ingredients for these ones and whatever it takes to just to make an enhanced one because they are objectively better than uh, the regular bombs. So let's see. So we're going to need to use some quibberth here. Um, I suppose we can just use, sure, these verbena. They only cost one. <laughs> And maybe here, oh, actually, let me go back to these regular powders. Um, here we go. Enhanced Northern Wind. Boom. And we might as well just purchase some of these ingredients, make another one. Um, oh, damn it. <laughs> That's not going to do, huh? Oh, there we go. There's another enhanced one. And one more for good measure. Ooh, if I use all of these, I, I can't even get an enhanced one. Um, sure, we'll use the bison grass. Okay, so that's my northern winds. That's all I'm going to craft. Um, no other bombs, because for now, I just want to get some more northern winds. Do I need any potions? Uh, I, sh could sh I should craft a couple of white honeys. And I don't think um, there's a big difference between the enhanced one and the regular one, but it doesn't matter. Let's just go ahead and do the regular one. And do I have any... Yes, Dwarven Spirits. Okay. We use the Wyvern Egg, the Water Hag Tooth, and Vampire Fangs. I'm gonna craft a couple of these. Now that we've gotten our toxicity all figured out, uh, it is a good time to craft a couple of these. Just so that, you know, sometimes I would like to lower my toxicity a little bit faster. Okay, and let's also do a couple of Blizzard Potions because these guys are amazing. Alright, so for Blizzard, I don't think we need enhanced ones. Um, the time slow might be a little different. Instead of, I don't know, 50%, it's lower than 50%, but um, we probably don't really require enhanced ones, but if we can make them, why not? Let's make one more. Giant Centipede Discharge. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay. And we have some black bloods, but never really got to using them. All right, that's uh, that's great. Um, and for the one thing that I actually came here to do, and that is to sell off my <laughs> honeycombs. I've been saving these up just for you, Tamira, just for you. All right, there we go. 96 crowns from 32 honeycombs. Awesome. Farewell. Okay, and we also got a brewing skill point. Awesome. Actually, do we have uh, that Trial of the Grasses skill point? Ah, damn it, we don't. It's at 98%, which means it just need to pop one more potion and then we can do it. <laughs> and then I can learn that um, whatever Toxic Blood, I think, whatever it's called. But maybe it won't even be that useful, honestly, but uh, we'll see. In fact, if we just go um, back into these settings here. I don't even think we need this to be three times, honestly. We can just set this back to, in fact, we just put default everything. Yeah. I find that toxicity is clearing fast enough for us to be still enjoying the game, so there's no real need to um, make it so that toxicity goes down even slower. Um, so, let's see, what else can we do here? Uh, well, this is White Orchard. I mean, <laughs> there isn't really that much going on, but Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the innkeep. And I think at the very beginning of the game, um, she was... Actually, is, he, is she still even selling things? I don't know. 
I think after the events uh, of uh, White Orchard, she just kind of, she's just shunning us now because we killed a bunch of the people inside her inn. But um, let's go ahead and take a look because we didn't have a lot of money back at the very beginning. And uh, we left some Gwent cards unpurchased. Maybe this guy will sell me a couple. Greetings. It's our good buddy, whatever he's called. Let me have a look at The innkeep's cousin. <laughs> uh, let's see what he has. Wow. Very interesting stuff he has here. He's got the Temerian set. Um, you know, I really, really wish that you can apply skins to your armors. So you have like... A fashion slot and then your armor slot in this game. I know it doesn't make any sense, but that would be really cool because uh, the Temerian set looks kind of cool and the Nilfgaardian armor. Oh man, I would love to use that. It's just, uh, you know, the Witcher sets are just so much better in terms of stats and, and everything else. But in terms of uh, appeal and fashion, these weaker sets, they are definitely pretty good. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I just... Don't see any real reason to to buy that. Take care. Okay, but we are looking for Gwent cards here. Let's see. Is the innkeep still in here? Probably not. What do you want? Ah, damn it! She's not even here anymore. Well, that sucks. Yeah, she doesn't want to do business with us. That's that's perfectly understandable, I suppose. Um. Hmm. Well, there is uh, really no one else around here. Maybe we can um, pay a visit to our Dwarven Blacksmith friend. I don't know. Just trying to waste time here. Uh, sharpen my weapon. <laughs> Willis. Yes, I am a return customer. Oh, how's the new forge? We can ask. New forge any good? Splendid. Nilfgaardians brought a two-chamber bellows from Mahaka. Then sent the Vizima for a crack builder. Fellow built a brick hearth and a chimney in no time. Only thing is, the local folk don't buy from me no more. They ride to Goslitz, half a day's road, even though the duffer there's never forged a decent horn in his life. But he's a human, that it? Be careful, Willis. And if the tide turns and Nilfgaard abandons White Orchard, you leave with them. Humans won't forgive you for that boy's death. Ah, yes. Direct consequences of our choices at the very beginning of the game. Show me what you got. Cool, I like that. Um, does he have anything cool to sell? He sells a diagram for some like weapons. <laughs> Actually, yeah, these maces and hammers and axes, they're pretty good against human enemies. But at this point in the game... Actually, they are even really good against um, enemies with just high armor in general. Because these guys have very high armor piercing. And in fact... Let's see, which one has the most armor piercing? 50, 60% armor piercing on this weapon. Let's just go ahead and buy this diagram. Um, Lucerne Battle Hammer. And I want to see just what kind of stats we're dealing with here. Let, um, oh, damn it, he doesn't craft it. Mm, we can, I suppose we can just exit here. So long. And just take a look because, um, sure, the Iris is a great weapon, but when it comes to enemies with very high armor, golems, for example, the prime example it doesn't do a whole lot of damage so maybe we can craft one of these and just use that for enemies with high armor okay so lucerne where is it there it is battle hammer um yeah it's actually quite strong it doesn't have any runes or any enchantments or anything like that um and it's a steel weapon um, I'm not really sure honestly if golems require a silver weapon I, I have said so in the past that they do require silver um, but I think you can also hit them with steel, and that makes this weapon kind of, like, amazing. Because it's got 761 maximum damage and plus 60% armor piercing. <laughs> That's really cool. I think we're going to go back to Hattori to craft this guy, and, um, we will use that for our, for the future. Although I don't really know how much it weighs. Uh, I didn't check. So, it could bring our, uh... It could encumber us pretty easily, but um, we'll just have to deal with it. Okay, so we're going back to Hattori. Okay, and here we are, dear old Dandelion. There's a lot of people here, but Greetings, did I just say Dandelion? I mean Hattori. How might I be of help? <laughs> Hattori, yes. Okay, so Listen. let's take a look at what we have. Uh, we wanted to craft a steel sword, 
and this is going it's not really going to be a sword and uh, as you can see here we have a lot of these artifacts um i might be able to get back i don't know maybe four or five of these uh steel and silver included and we've already found I don't know, maybe 20 of these. So unfortunately, I won't be able to craft all, all of these in the future. But um, the one that I'm looking at uh, is this ultimatum. This looks really cool because it has fire damage and it gives Igni intensity. Uh, so yeah, this could be um, a candidate for crafting once we uh, finish the cat set. And then maybe I'll just use this over the iris. Um, we'll see. Uh, whoops, I meant to go all the way down here first. Because I want to craft myself a, um, nope, that's not the one. This is the one, the Lucerne Battle Hammer, 60% armor piercing. This mace, though, it has more damage. Let me see. So 801 versus 761. So we're off by, um, it's about 5% more attack power, 6 or 7% maybe even. But this one has more poise damage, I think, 40... Yeah, more poise damage, less armor piercing. Um, and uh, more overall strength. But this one has more armor piercing. I don't think poise damage really matters against enemies like golems. So, yeah, you know what? We're going to go with battle hammer. Uh, more armor piercing, less attack power, but I think it will be pretty good. So, we need a steel ingot, which we will purchase, and I need a haft. Okay, there we go. And, uh, yeah, we're going to use that in the future, or I'll try to remember to use it at least. And if I don't remember, well, that's too bad. So long. But now we have it. In fact, let's take a look at what it looks like. Uh, there it is. Lucerne Battle Hammer. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's massive. And Geralt can just hold it with one hand. Absolutely. Oh, it is slow. Wow. Sorry, folks. I'm just testing out my new weapon here. And these heavy attacks are definitely slow. Okay, well it's still um, it's still worth checking out, I suppose. There we go. Let's cheese that real quick and put the iris back on. Uh, oh, in fact, uh, there are some items that I should be selling off to Green Hattori here, here. because I do have a lot of stuff on me. Uh, let's see, shop. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and sell all of these like uh, fancy equipment. I don't need any of this stuff anymore. I don't think. Um, and this stuff over here. Oh, and uh, this reminds me. I do want to create my feline crossbow here. Yes, because this is going to be needed for our set bonus. Um, we will require some leather here and some timber. Awesome. Feline crossbow. All right, that's cool. And I'll just remember to equip so that uh, when we find the uh, master crafted feline set. Okay, I think we're all done here. Let me take a look at the world map one last time. And um, yeah, look at that. Everything is done. 97 signposts, 19 notice boards. And um, all available side quests are complete. Um, this one over here, the Coastal Rex. Coast of Rex, uh, I will check back with it maybe way later on in the game. Uh, for now, we're just going to leave that be, and um, if you don't know why, just you don't don't worry about it yet. That's, it's like kind of glitchy. So yeah, we will get back to that. Otherwise, the next time we come back, we're going to begin a whole new chapter of this game inside Skellige, another region. It really does feel like we've been here in Velen forever. In fact, uh, we came here in, what, episode 8 or so, and we are almost episode 80... I don't know, what are, what are we, but almost 88, I would say. So we spent almost 80, 80 episodes here in Vela. That's pretty crazy if you think about it. So um, this is going to be one of the last times I visit this place. Uh, obviously, I will be coming back to this region at some point in time, you know, to use uh, our blacksmith and our armorsmith services, as well as uh, there might be a couple of uh, more side quests we can complete here, as well as main quest. The main quest will lead us back to uh, Novigrad, so... Uh, it's not like we'll never come back to this place, but for now and for the next maybe 20 or or so episodes, we will be here and we will be away from here and off to Skellige. So with that, uh, we are done for this time. Thanks for watching, guys. Next time we come back, we're going to do Skellige. Um, it's going to be fun. I'll see you in the next one.